Qatar's Minister of State for International Cooperation, Lulu Al Khatar, and Palestine's Prime Minister discussed developments in Gaza. Qatar Red Crescent Society doctors conducted over 1,800 surgeries in Gaza. And in sports, the excitement builds for the 11th edition of Wings for Life World Run. Hi, it's Fatma, and you're watching the Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Qatar's Minister of State for International Cooperation, Lulu Al Khatar, and Palestine's Prime Minister, Mohammed Mustafa, discussed the latest developments in Gaza on Wednesday as the war nears its seven-month mark. The discussions took place in Doha on the sidelines of the third Arab Economic and Cooperation Forum with countries of Central Asia and Azerbaijan. The meeting came as Qatar continues to play a key mediating role in hopes of reaching a ceasefire in Gaza and a captive's release deal. Meanwhile, the Qatar Red Crescent Society carried out more than 1,800 surgeries in Gaza throughout the ongoing Israeli war on the Strip, providing a helping hand to the collapsed local health sector. The surgeries included stopping the bleeding, lung repair, and diaphragm wall repair. This is in addition to direct operations on the heart, esophagus, and blood vessels. The QRCS team are also providing victims with psychological treatment services. And now the much-anticipated Wings for Life World Run has athletes and wheelchair users worldwide preparing for the grandest and most extensive running event globally, slated to take place in Doha on Sunday. Participants will gather at the Khalifa International Stadium for their leg of the race. Regardless of whether they are running, jogging or strolling all contenders in the wings for life world run will begin simultaneously precisely at 2 p.m that's it for me today for more stories head over to our website and download our app